No, but the cut was deep enough to save my life. The wounded beast ceased its attack and bounded away into the forest, leaving me barely conscious in a pool of my own blood. I should have died that day. I know now. The wolf was the manifestation of the Forest Father's vengeance. The fact that I survived has only managed to, uh, only served to anger him further. That is why he punishes me by denying his blessings. I see. Let me ask you something else. Yeah. You have a ship for sale? Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the options initially. Uh, what do you have for sale? Oh my god. Right then. Arrows, arrow plus ones, arrow plus twos, oh arrow biting plus one. Oh my god. Composite longbow, longbow arrow plus piercing, one. Arrow Composite bolts. longbow plus one. Goblin arrow. Goblin. Ammo belt. Ammo belt. Hide leather armor. Alright, he has our ammo. He is ammo incarnate. You have anything to steal? Not that I saw. It does not. Yes, very well. I'm here. Yes. Hello, Stormbow plus two. Oh god, Lamb, I just You are not something. as good as I wanted. We're forced to all be in here, so we use him as a fucking tradesperson to sell shit to. We actually all have to be in here, yeah. You want me? God damn it. Where's I'm Comlin? Here. I miss yes. Comlin. I am here, right. At least we were able to fucking talk to him. Oh, fuck me in the goddamn shop. Hmm? You want me? Right. Oops. Oh my god, I have standard Maybe. arrows. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm yeah. here. You want me? Oh yeah, I should probably buy standard arrows. Uh. Right. Oh my god, I have standard bullets. Shaman, what am I keeping for Shaman? Or both. Well, oh, you realize you actually made uh, the thief and shaman proficient in short pups. Weird, I thought I took longbows with the thief. It's not. Oh, bullets are only sold in sets of 20. That's strange. Damn it, let me fucking buy goddamn arrows. Thank you. Okay, so I'm pretty filled up on ammo. Also, apparently he can move across the room and still sell shit to you. I mean, it's better than Colin. True. Also, holy shit. A fighter has an AC of negative 11. <laughs> when did that happen? Also, uh, we shouldn't need to worry about arrows for a while. God, I hope so. I have a thousand one hundred and sixty arrows in the fucking ammo belt, so uh, yeah, my, ran well. my ranger has a negative yeah. two thacko. Why is that so low? Because Archer, he has four slots in fucking longbows. I'm sorry, he has five slots in longbows. He is a grand master with the longbow. I'm here. Yes. 
Plus he's an elf, which gives him a negative one with fucking uh with bows and long swords and short swords, I think. Yeah. And he's an archer, which gives him a neg another negative one with missile weapons. Who are you? Come a liar. Eh? What do you want? Who are you? I'm Jim Last Missing. And then I realized I'm just doing the fucking yeah. Herbert voice again. <clears throat> I work for the Coster. The, the trading Coster. What do you know about Lonely Word and the Barbarian <clears throat> Threat? Nothing. I have no information for you. I'm not from around here. Okay. Ready, very well. You were very unhelpful. <laughs> That's why I don't talk yeah, to right. him. Want to throw briar codes at purpose? Did we talk to Quinn Silverfinger, by the way? I don't think so. Very well. Want me to do the voice? Sure. Welcome, travelers, to the Golden Lodge, shrine to... Joaquin? Joaquin. I am Grand Sindar Quinn Silverfinger, but my friends just call me Quinn. What can I do for you on this fine, chilly day? Grand what who? I don't see that as an option. God, I wish that was an option. <laughs> option. Uh, what do you do here? Well, I do what all good proofs of Joaquin do. I maintain relations with the crossbow in town. No. <laughs> Uh, craftsmen in town monitor trade and provide encouragement to an enterprising businessman. Oh, okay, this is the asshole. Is it common for halflings to become priests of Joaquin? No, it is actually quite rare. I joined the church because, unlike my plump kin, I have the ambition and dedication to succeed at business. I was quite successful with the Golden Spires in the Amun. Uh, um, um. um. I'm. Um, it's just um. Nah, I'm making the end pronounced. Uh, actually, there it it's with the guards and um Baldur's. I don't eight. care. You can actually. It's um. Okay. I'm. Um, and. And. It's a it's a halfling thing. Uh, why did you find a sh find a shrine in Lonelywood? Icewind Dale is one of the most remote areas in Faerun. I felt it was my challenge and duty to bring trade and commerce to this desolate place. I see a golden future in these icy wastes. Did you intend to rhyme? For the glory of Arm. What do you know about Lonelywood and the Barbarian Threat? Mm, not much. All I know is that buffoon of a man, Baltimore, is probably handling the situation with the political grace of a walrus. Why do you believe that? Baltimore is a country grown man, simple as dirt. I, I thought that said simple as dart. I mean, darts are pretty simple, so I can see it being said. Yeah. Uh, he likes to think he's above everyone else because he's got some coin. Someday I'd like to see a smart halfling come in here and show these bumpkins a thing or two about how to run a small town. Oh, apparently now I can't ask yeah. him about the fucking... Weird. Okay. Farewell, Quinn. Hey, Quinn. Talk to him again. I was speaking to the Cooper Tybal Dutton. Seems to me his business could use some encouragement. Ah, Tybalt done. Yes, I was meaning to speak to him. I've heard that Targos to the south is making plans to expand their shipping trade. They would undoubtedly be in need of skilled coopers. I'm sure he'll appreciate the advice. Well, okay, I was going to go. Yeah, I, I, I was like, option. oh, okay, cool, cool. The healing's... Nope, never mind. I'll mention him to it. Um, what? <laughs> I'll mention it to him. Quinn, farewell. Fuck. Yes. I apparently cannot English. I'll Ready. Sure. There's a go tell Tibble. I'm yep. Here. Go, Dwarfy. Go tell about the speed of boots. Ah, for you and you again. What do you want this time? I wanted to talk to you about your work and possibly moving south. Hmm? What do you mean? I spoke to the priest of Joaquin, Quinn Silverfinger. He said there's an opportunity for a skilled cooper in Targos. Targos? But I have heard of no such. All the caravan masters that come to Lonely Wood speak to Baltimore first, to old. It is not surprising that you had not heard of this. I 
thank you, Southerner. I will look into it at once. Should the roads become free of the barbarians, I'll take my business and family south. We have changed Tybalt's fortunes. Woohoo. Alright, uh, I will see you to the barbarians, Tybalt. Good fortunes. That's usually how I feel about talking, Gar. Yes. Yes. Okay, option number two for forcing us to fucking go into a goddamn place together? Yep. This is probably the end, right? That would be my guess. Or tavern. Yes. I mean, oh. combo. Roar out, Tuttle Fist. Aye. Want me to do the voice? I, is, is he a dwarf? He looks dwarfy. Aye. What you be wanting, stranger? Can't see... Can't you see I've been into my cups? <clears throat> oh, that one hurts a lot more than I thought it would. You look like you've seen battle recently. I was about a week hence. Wow, that's not very recently. <laughs> know you have a barbarian camp east of here? I mean, that, a week ago was a week recently. I mean, we for spent a fight, though, in a game where you have days. clerics? Yeah, but I mean, we spent 187 days destroying the entire world. You're not wrong. <laughs> that was recent. Uh, but yes, I've heard that the barbarians have gathered nearby. Well, me and me fellows were there. We're sent by the clan to scout the camp. Damn savages spotted us and set on like a pack of dogs. We were backed against the bluff with nowhere to run. We knew we were trapped, so we had at them. If we were to die, at least we were not to die alone. <clears throat> All of me fellows fell to the savages' blades. I knew me time had come, and I steadied myself for their blows. Sudden like this deep voice booms out and they step back. Uh it's not steps myself, back. it's me self. Yeah, it's also not step back, it steps back. Oh, yeah, so it is. A giant of a man comes forward and glares at me. Must have been seven feet tall, and he was wearing the making of marking of a king. Carried a double bladed axe bigger than myself. What happened next? He raises his axe and swings at me. Almost had me, too. He was so fast with the blade, I barely raised my shield in time to block the blow. Last thing I remember was me shield shattering and me falling from the bluff. I woke up in a pile of broken branches and the trees below. They must have broken me fall. I bandaged myself up and limped into town. Been here ever since. Is there anything else you can tell me about the barbarians? Not a thing. Me and my fellas never made it to the camp proper. Plenty of guards and alert as well. What do you intend to do next? As soon as I'd be fit to travel, I'll report back to the clan. It'll be up to the clan elders what course to take next. Until then, I'd be mourning the loss of my fellows. Kick. Alright, Lamb, talk to someone. <clears throat> Just go around stealing shit. I can't steal shit. You're the fucking thief. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just over here exploring. Oh, hey, it's done. Well, I mean, we were told that her fucking mother was here, so. Yeah. Want me to do it then? Uh, either or. I could do it if you want. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Aren't you a side for tired eyes and you face in lonely wood? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just I find it funny how both of our female voices are exactly the same. <laughs> like we have the same fucking method for it. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want me to do? No, I mean, it makes sense because we both have, like, really low fucking voices. It's just one of those things that's funnier than how. <laughs> What do you face in Lowly Wood? And such a handsome one, too. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Grognir. Who are you? Me, Grognir. Me, head hurt. Wait. I was I was considering doing that, and then I realized, no, he's actually got an intelligence of, like, ten, I think. Oh. I was also referring to the, uh... The fuck was it that had, had a head hurt? In the, what? In the uh, original campaign? We ran across a guy with a head hurt, and we talked to Arundel, and he told us what to do, and we went back, and 
Oh yeah, he just fixed the his fucking or... random orc. Or was it an it was. orc? Uh, yeah, I don't I, think I, it was an. It. I don't think it was an orc. I don't remember what it was. It was a big guy. Yeah. Troll baby. No, it wasn't a troll. Who knows? Uh, but I mean, you're, you're the one doing the dialogue now, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Amber done. Just Amber will do. How did you get here? Are you here with one of the caravans? Amber Dunn? Are you Tibbled's wife? Tibbled's wife? Ha! Huh. I sleep under his roof at times, but am I his wife? In name only. Ha! Huh. May his innards freeze and his body be buried in one of his barrels. Wow. You sound like you bear little love for your husband. I bear no love for that scarecrow of a man. He dragged me here to the north to nowhere so he could try to make a few coppers. Bray wanted to read that as a few copers, by the way. A few coopers? I mean, yeah. And I could freeze and die. What a fool I was. Well, uh, good news, Amber. You'll actually be heading south as soon as we clear the fucking barbarians away. So, cool. Uh, if your life here is such a burden, why don't you leave? You think I haven't tried? What do you know? Caravans aren't running now, and every man I bet promises to take me south, and leaves me here. Are you are you willing to get away from your family in this town so much you would give your body to a stranger? I would sleep with the garrison if it meant warm climates and an escape from this frigid hell. Have you no shame, woman? What would happen to drive you to such a state? My husband, that fool, Tibble, brought us here to the north, promising a... Bright new future. Now years have passed, yet he still labors at his shop. My daughter is a wild thing. More wolf than girl. This is not what I wished for, uh, wished of my life. I would do no, uh, d fuck. I would do anything to leave it and start anew. That's a lot of choices. Yeah, I'm trying to... Then you are the one who must change your life, and looking for others to change it will only dig you deeper. Are we trying to split them apart or help him out? <laughs> Neither. I mean, with that kind of line, it sounds like you're trying to tell her to fucking just leave. I mean... You... you don't know what it is like. Granted, I do not. But if I were in your position, I would at least try to improve my situation. Or well, Amber. Amber, tell us about the barbarian threat. Eh, she's drunk. She doesn't fucking know anything. Whatever. There's so many people here. Hmm. Well, I'm again? asking you about the barbarian threat. No uh, threat. Ah, huh, there's no threat. The worst that could happen is the Northmen could burn this wretched little town to the ground. Best thing that could happen to the place, if you ask me. You'd be pleased if this town, your home, was burned to the ground? Pleased? Nay, blessed. But then there would be nothing trapping any of us here. Indeed. If the barbarians attacked, they would butcher everyone in this town, including your family. Wow. My Fuck. family? We are already dead. Now the death would not matter much. Wait. Would not matter dot dot dot. Now, enough of this talk of barbarians in this damn town. You won't have a drink, then leave me to mine. Are you Haley's mother? Haley, that thrice damned girl? Get a day go by without that brat getting herself into trouble. Entirely too much of her idiot father in her. Thrice damned. Haley is your daughter, isn't she? I know I emphasized that one wrong, but. Ah, uh, not mine. I may have birthed her, but I'll have nothing to do with her or her idiot father. By the hells, how did we even start talking about this? 